Hello everyone, my name is Grace and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's chapter 7, God Help Joseph. Genesis 37 to 47. Jacob had 12 sons, but he loved Joseph the most. He gave Joseph Joseph the best clothes. He gave him the most delicious food. One day, Joseph had a dream. In his dream, he became the ruler of over his brothers. He boosted about the dream to his father and brothers. His brother hated Joseph even more. One day, a brother said, let's kill Joseph. Another brother said, don't kill kill him, let's sell him as a slave. The brother sold Joseph to Median Marchants. Joseph became a slave in Egypt. Joseph came to the house of Potiphar at Grain General of Egypt. He walked very hard. Joseph was help, helpless, helpless slave, but got help. Help him. God blessed the house of Portable because of Joseph. One day something bad happened. Portable's wife lied to his husband. She said Joseph is a bad slave. Portable put Joseph in a prison. God was with Joseph in the prison also. Jesus, Joseph took care of the prisoners. One day, Joseph interpreted the dreams of two pers- prisoners. They were helpers of the king. A few days later, their dreams came true. One day, the Egyptian king had two strange dreams. In one dream, seven skinny cows ate up seven healthy cows. In another dream, seven dried bundles of grains ate up seven healthy bundles of grain. What does this dream mean? He, the king asked many people. No one could tell him the meaning of the dream. The king helper remembered Joseph. He was in the jail with Joseph. Joseph can interpret the dream. The king sent of Joseph. The dream means that for the next seven years, you will have a good years. You will have harvest plenty of crops. But you will also have a seven bad years. You won't have any crops. You must prepare the famine. Famine, said Joseph. The king was very pleased. The king was amazed and happy with Joseph's wisdom. The king said, you're very wise. I want you to rule over my people. The king made Joseph a ruler over rule over Egypt. God took care of me, said Jesus. God was with Joseph. Chapter eight. Joseph forgive his brother. Genesis chapter twenty four to forty five. Joseph's brother were not good to him. He, they did bad things to him because of the Joseph had hard times in Egypt. 
But God was with Joseph, and God helped them. God gave Joseph wisdom. God made him rule over Egypt. Joseph forgave his brother. As Joseph said, they had seven good years with God's help. Joseph set up crops. After that, seven bad years followed, but they had plenty of food in Egypt. The brother met the governor in the pal palace. They didn't know that the Egyptian governor was Joseph. Joseph's brother wanted to buy some fruit. Joseph knew they were his brother. Joseph said, "You're the spies. You want to know how much food we have." The brother was shocked. They said in fear, "No, we are here to buy food." Joseph wanted to know if they still hate one another. Bring your youngest brother next time and prove that you're not spies. Joseph thought that they cared for Benjamin. He would. He saw them help another. One another to keep Benjamin safe. Joseph wanted to ask him about his father and Ben Benjamin, but he decided to not ask. He gave them enough food, and he let them go to their hometown. Joseph's brother came to Egypt to buy food again. They didn't recognize Joseph. Joseph couldn't help crying when he saw his brothers again. Brothers, I am Joseph. The brothers were scared. He, they thought they that they will be killed. But Joseph said, "It's all right, brothers. God sent me to Egypt before you let live here in Egypt." Joseph forgave his brother. They lived happily together. Ah、uh, yes, we are going to read the story. Chapter nine: Brave Miriam, Exodus, Chapter two. Miriam was an Israel girl. Her family lived in Egypt. The Paro. Of Egypt didn't like the people of Israel. The power ordered him, him, his men to kill all the Israel's baby boys. Maria's mother had a lovely baby boy. She hid the baby and raised him. As the baby grew, she couldn't hide him. Any longer, she laid her son on a basket and placed him in the river. I will be with the boy," said Maria. Maria was a brave girl. Maria followed the basket secretly. <coughs> the baby cried in the basket. A woman came to the river to take take a bath. She saw was a princess of Egypt. Look at the basket. She was surprised to see the baby in the basket. I will raise this cute baby myself. The princess said, "I will call the this baby Moses, because I took him out of the water." Moses means a child of the water. I need nurses. Worried the princess, Mira was watching everything. She ran to the princess and said, "I know I'm a woman. She can help you. My mother can take care of the baby," said Miriam. The princess said yes. And Maryam brought her mother, 
the princess asked her. I will pay you for nursing my baby. The mother was very happy to raise her own baby openly. Thank you. You're such a brave girl, Marianne. Said the mother. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? And next time I will read another story. Then let's see you next time. Bye.